What up, everyone? Good morning. So most people meet a Karen, right? Most people uh, deal with Karens. And if you know what a Karen is, it's usually a white woman who has an attitude about nothing. And I hate to say it that way, but that's what it is. But, you know, you sometimes you meet Annabelles. And Annabelles are people that, um, you know, they just don't know what's going on. They're a little late to the party. Usually they have a really sheltered life. Or they could have a name like Emma. Usually they have a real sheltered life. Mommy and Daddy both lived in the household. And, you know, they just watch, watch uh, documentaries about African Americans and Latino Americans and all the other ethnic Americans that, you know, join gangs or do stuff like that. And they watch documentaries about people of color. And they're like, oh, my God, I'm finally meeting a Latino and person a latino american like myself and they're like what gang were you in before you got you know your 40 an hour work week job you know and you're doing pretty good you're successful your homework she's like before you had your condo before you got married what gang were you in i'm like i wasn't in a gang not all latino americans join gangs we're not all followers and that's no uh dig at gangbangers i know you're looking for family you're looking for somewhere to belong to me I was like an outsider all the time. I had a broken home. I had all that stuff, the, you know, the cliche growing up Latino, you know, abusive, you know, whatever. Some people are abusive in the family. You know, some people sucked in the family, but other people were really good in the family. My grandma was really good. My mom did her best. She worked all the time. She was good. You know, my dad wasn't really around, you know, but he was around for his second wife and all his kids, his other kids. But, you know, he was around until the age of probably about eight, if you want to get my story, eight or nine. And then he left my mom and he kind of left me. But, you know, it happens. It is what it is. You know, you're a Latino man. You're not supposed to cry about it. But, hey, we cried a lot. But anyway, you meet these people like Annabelle or Emma, you know, and I hate to generalize the names. But you meet people like that and they're like, what kind of gang were you in? It must have been hard for you. Yeah, it was hard. I grew up with not a lot of money, you know, but a lot of love and a lot of support from the right people. And, uh, you know, I just kind of followed my own beats of my own drum, you know, fo followed the rhythm of my own drum, the beat of my own drum. I did that. And I wasn't in the gang. I wasn't, you know, over there. You know, did I do a little dirt? For sure. Did I sell a little weed? For sure. Did I help the guys out, help the homies, and they gave me some money? For sure. But, I mean, I wasn't in a gang. I did my own thing. And, you know, I'm a normal guy now. But, no, a lot of people are like, man, you're so well-spoken and you're so intelligent. And, wow, man, for being like an ex-cholo, I'm like, who said I was an ex-cholo? We are not all cholos. We are not all gangbangers, okay? Just because you meet some people that maybe they don't look like you. Maybe they're brown, they're black, they purple, whatever. We are not all gangbangers. We don't all come from that shit. We are not all gangbangers. We are just normal people surviving. Bye.